Award shows are typically grand affairs full of beautiful gowns, dashing tuxedos, and good-natured conversation as celebrities celebrate the achievements of their peers. Occasionally, the show will take a break from the red carpet fashion and congratulatory speeches when something a bit wilder occurs. Fox News Digital takes a look at some of the more memorable moments in recent award show history supermodel Heidi Klum and former Dancing with the Stars host Tom Bergeron shared a moment together. During the 2008 Emmy Awards, one that left Klum with a bruise, during a skit, Bergeron held Klum and dipped her low to the ground. He accidentally dropped her, and she hit the floor hard that IT seemed to be painful. Backstage, she posed for photos with her skirt lifted, showing a large bruise on her hip. There was no bad blood between her and Bergeron, however. He helped her as she showed off the wound, she rolled her eyes at the remark, and while her husband, Will Smith, initially laughed, he stood a moment later, walked on stage and slapped Rock without a word. Keep my wife's name out your fengy mouth, Smith yelled when he returned to his seat. Rock insisted his comment about Pinkett Smith was just a joke, but Smith repeated his demand, Rock managed to keep his cool even after being slapped, and Smith won the Oscar for Best Actor. In the aftermath, the Academy banned Smith from attending the ceremony for 10 years, comedian Joe Coy attempted to deliver jokes at this year's Golden Globes, but many of them fell flat. After a few jokes bombed, Coy began blaming the material that wasn't well received on writers. Point one joke that didn't land was one about the massively successful Barbie movie. Coy pitted the film against the other big box office hit, saying, Oppenheimer, is based on a 721-page Pulitzer Prize-winning book about the Manhattan Project, and Barbie, is on a plastic doll with big boobies. Many viewers thought this remark totally missed the feminism of Barbie, and was just another example of the misogyny the movie spoke out against.